Okay, we are back, truck diagnostic. We got it out of the computer, we got our truck 2007 Freight Lander. I don't know what the engine has it. We're gonna take a look what engine has this truck. They just call us to diagnostic this truck, they, they got a kind of miss. Engine like young losing power. Let's see what's going on with this truck. So the first thing he has to see is what kind of engine has it. I pop the hood. It's Freylander M2. M2, yeah, Freylander M2. Wait. Ah. Okay. Let's see what engine has it. Okay, let's see. Ah, very nice. That's a Caterpillar C7. Yep, that's a Caterpillar C7. Those engines you will see often on this type of trucks in 2 Freelander. The 2007. Let's see what's going on with the truck. Definitely the diagnostic. You have to have an XX. I got a computer there, I got all the programs in there. Let's see, let's turn the key on. Let's see what do we have right there. I see a check engine ion. Nope, it's gone. All the check engine ion is gone. So, let me shut off the light. Okay, now let's see. Oops, I have low battery. I don't worry about that. Let's use ET. That's where the caterpillar suffer. ET. Cat electronic thing mission 2018. I have the program. There is another one 2022. I have to get that one too. So let's see what's going on with this shock. See what's going on with this system. It's not connecting right. Yeah, trying to get a connect with the X6. I got a little bit hard time. And that's normal on the computers. I got to connect with Nexix now. Let's connect with the truck. See what we have. Okay, I just we choose now. Okay, we have everything right there. Let's see the codes. What we have it? Instrument cluster. They are encouraging 1939. Don't worry about that. Let's see the codes pass. Oh, that's the code. So that's the reason why the truck is losing power. Injection, actuation, pressure, signal erratic. Okay. Let's see. Diagnostic test. So that's the only cause we have. I don't worry about that. Uh, J1939. Uh, so much can communication, but I don't worry about that. That happened in VTA. I don't worry about that. This is the problem. He's saying that it's losing power sometimes, sometimes don't. So sometimes driving fine, sometimes. It's losing power, so that's the cause we have injection pressure signal erratic. So that's we gotta go with the diagnostic. Let me see, let me start the truck. The truck starts fine. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay.
good, but it's, the, in, the engine doesn't sound like okay. Okay, we even got an oil leak there. So it's kind of weird right here. The engine doesn't sound okay. Nope. The truck has more than one problem. Okay, let me do the injector test. Let me see diagnostic. Okay, let me see with the injector pressure. Injector test, let me see with the injector. Let me see. It starts. It's gonna be the engine running. Okay. Let me go back over here. Test. Cut off the injector. Let's do the injector cut off test. Let's see. See what injector is going on right here. In the injector. Now we're doing the injector curve test. Before we couldn't do it because the engine was wasn't hot enough. So now we're doing injector curve test. The engine doesn't sound okay. It's like a valve. Something is sound weird so I decide to do the injector cut off test see what the piston can be and anyway I had to take the valve cover to verify what exactly problem is going on in the engine seems like somebody has worked already in the truck so maybe they left loose any valve so I will go ahead with adjust the valve first and then I will do the test back again and see what I can find the problem maybe I will put the next video later on what I found exactly what's the problem with this engine but so far that's how I'm diagnostic this shop so. I'm seeing like I don't think so this shock has injector problems what I will do is uh, I will adjust the valves first I will take the valve cover and see if, if any uh, valves loose and then I will come back and do another uh, injector cut off test I'm seeing like the injector doesn't look so bad okay so that was a small video I did on this shock uh, Freyland 2007 with C7 Caterpillar so I will go ahead and take the valve cover because the engine doesn't sound okay. It's kind of weird sounds, but I have to take the valve cover. I will start with the valve cover adjustment. I mean, yeah, yeah the valve, I definitely I will take the valve cover out. Then I gotta adjust the, the valves first. From there I will start, all right? See you next video.